na chineke na nke kuru mihe ni ime onye obu na ni ana zoputa onye obu na ni ya bu opu ya ni nebu ye na amen anyi we na ase eze bu pede nkosi na ro tuto na ejama na nsopuru site na ebige bi maru na ebige ise 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 Welcome, my amazing viewers. Thank you so much for joining me on my program once again. I appreciate you wherever you are joining from. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you be notified each time I upload a video. You will be among the first to receive it. Thank you so much. And remember, blessed. if you are joining me from Africa, Asia, Europe, America, Australia, or any part of the world, I thank you very much for your contribution. Please, each time you watch my video, go to the comment section and put down your comments. That's it. Media consultant to Sheikh Ahmad Gumi, Malam Tuko Mamo, said government should hasten negotiations for the release of the remaining victims because they were in dangerous conditions. It will be recalled that the terrorists who attacked the Abuja Kaduna bound train killed eight passengers and kidnapped no fewer than 61 passengers. Joining us now from Kaduna is Malam Tuko Mamo, lead negotiator and media consultant to Sheikh Ahmad Gumi. Malam, uh, yes, um, Malam Mamu, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for accepting our invitation. Uh, well, thank you very much, Mr. Uh, uh, Dr. Abati, uh, Mr. Rufai Tudun, uh, for inviting me to this uh, show. Thank you. Well, before we go into the uh, details, let me just ask you, what has been your experience, ne you know, negotiating uh, you know, uh, trying to uh, ensure the release of uh, the kidnap uh, victims in that ill-fated uh, Kaduna-bound uh, Abuja train. Um, what, what have you seen? What are the challenges yes, that uh, you face? Yes. Okay, good morning, Nigerians. Uh, it's, it's a huge frustration. It's a huge frustration. This is something with, with, with political will that can be done within little time, going by the experiences you know, of, of the last two months. And uh, we have demonstrated that to the world, and the delay is unnecessary as far as I'm concerned, uh, because uh, no matter how you see this issue, uh, you know, these are a set of terrorist groups that can listen, uh, especially if you engage them sincerely, and especially uh, if you are really very much committed to, 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 to understanding the magnitude of the crisis and, 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 and how the life of these innocent people, you know, uh, continue to be in danger uh, in a situation whereby uh, government can use uh, diplomacy to secure their release as soon as possible. Uh, for, for me, it is unnecessary. For me, uh, we are putting their lives at, at risk. And, and honestly, the situation is really, really very unpredictable that needs immediate government uh, intervention. What we are seeing today, uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, though it is something for, for us to celebrate, you know, releasing some of the victims in, in badges, but I think this is something that needs to be done at once uh, so that we will get to the root of this crisis as soon as possible. And as I keep repeating, even if we have succeeded in releasing all the victims, uh, this crisis, uh, you know, this uh, insecurity uh, issue, and then the, the, the tendency to, to, to attack at any given opportunity is not yet over. You know, government needs to do so much. Uh, and I, I, I believe if they understand uh, the, the reality of the crisis, uh, this is something that can be contained by, by, by the grace of God. Well, I want to start by saying thank you to you for your efforts, without which would be in an even worse situation than what we are discussing. But urgent action has been needed since the 28th of March. What exactly is preventing this urgent action from being taken by the government? Exactly what are you alluding to? Why are we having the poor victims released in dribs and drabs while we're all told that their condition is worsening, those people there. We have an aged woman of 90 years old. We have little children. We have a baby. What exactly is the problem? Why are they not all free by now? You know, this is, this is the problem we have in this country. You know, the, the, the approach is wrong and the approach is not yielding positive results on the side of the government. 
Uh, if you can remember, uh, I was uh, involved uh, actively in the negotiation of the first 11 victims. And, uh, you know, that time there, there was so much cooperation from the government and then uh, it took us less than six days to, to negotiate and then release this first 11. But after the release of the first 11, uh, maybe because of the uh, demands of the terrorist group and then uh, maybe inability of government to understand, uh, you know, uh, how to go about uh, the, the, the crisis and then to heed to uh, uh, advice. I think that causes the delay uh, in, 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 in getting to the root of the matter. But no matter how you look at this situation, uh, we have to understand that uh, lives of innocent people are involved. And we have to understand that we are dealing with people, you know, that don't even value the sanctity of human life. We have to understand that we are dealing with people that, that can inflict harm at any given opportunity to these people. So when you have a situation whereby you understand that this situation as it is today has no military solution, then what will be the right option if you want to preserve innocent lives? Because you will agree with me that if this situation has any military solution, this is something that will have been done uh, in the past one, two, three, now over four months. But it has not been done. So, so if you say, for example, as a government, I'm doing something or I'm taking action or I, I, we are doing the best we could to, 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 to secure their release, what is the result on ground? Nigerians are not seeing the result on ground. Apart from the first one we, we, we initiated and, 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 and succeeded with the assistance of the federal government and the security agencies, all other ones, you know, that, that, that regained their freedom, as, as, as they just testify themselves, you know, uh, they, uh, it, it happens without any input from the government. It happens without any help from the government. So how can you allow your, your citizens in that kind of condition, and as you rightly stated, uh, with, with, with an aged woman, you know, young, the, the youngest of them is about one and a half years old, and, they're, they're sit, uh, and their condition is really, really very bad. So, so I, I, I think uh, the situation as it is now, uh, no, no single person can achieve, you know, the needed result without the cooperation of the government. You know, no matter what we do, no matter how you try to, 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 to put in your best, uh, at the end of the day, you just get frustrated. And that informs my reason to even uh, withdraw, because my participation is voluntary. Uh, how I get involved, it is the, 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 the passengers, maybe based on uh, what, what they saw, what we have demonstrated over the last uh, few months with Sheikh uh, Gumi in visiting uh, these bandits in cliffs in, in the northwest to, to seek solution to this banditry issue and kidnapping. And then, uh, and then the, the, the work we do, especially here in the north, uh, being a journalist and a publisher, they, they suggested that I should be involved, that they suggested that I should be helpful uh, in, 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 in getting this. And I, I, I took that decision to accept it uh, on the human angle since they have that competence and since uh, if you talk to them at least they make some concession what will i do as a responsible citizen to make sure that okay i also contribute for this thing to come to an end as soon as possible but the important thing for for, for nigerians and government to know is that even if for example today we have succeeded in securing all these victims the threat is very visible and the threat is real something has to be done and that's something, you know, you have to apply the, the carrot and stick approach at the same time. Where it is necessary to apply military force, yeah, it is allowed. Uh, it is a solution. But I can tell you what we have on the ground, you know, uh, you, you have to use a lot of diplomacy and dialogue, you know, to, to get to the root of this crisis. Okay. <clears throat> I'd like to press further, Mr. Mamu, on your negotiating leverage. How did you get this negotiating leverage? Was it by those visits? Or it was them that gave you the leverage? And does this leverage also include their ecosystems? And secondly, does this leverage also include the fact that after the negotiation, ransoms are paid? You know, you know in, in, in a situation whereby government do not take control of this kind of situation, and you allow individual desperate family members to reach out to this group and then negotiate their release, certainly and definitely you cannot rule out the aspect of uh, payment of ransom. 
And that is why uh, it is even funny, for example, for government to say we are discouraging the payment of ransom. If you are discouraging the payment of ransom and you allow individual families to directly uh, discuss and negotiate with this group, then by implication, what are you encouraging? Certainly you are encouraging ransom payment. The, the first batch of the 11, when the government you know, participated actively, I can guarantee you, I can assure you, we did not pay a single cover to anybody. We achieved that through dialogue, through negotiation, and through the spirit of give and take. So, so, so no matter what you do, uh, uh, just imagine that this is my son, or this is my mother, or this is my brother, you know, spending all this period in, in captivity, in an uncertain situation. If you have the resources, for example, to secure his release, will you allow him to just die there? Especially in the situation whereby their lives are being threatened almost on a daily basis? especially in a situation whereby most of them are in serious condition of, of, of illness. You can see from the submission of, of, of the medical doctor, you know, he is, he is virtually the, the sole medical doctor of the camp. He treats both the captives and, 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 and the abductors. So in, in, that is even maybe the, the luck they have, even though without any, you know, medical facilities. But in his absence, what, what do you think will happen now? And, 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 and the implication of what is happening today, uh, whoever, for example, that succeeds in, in, in coming out, certainly, certainly behind the scene, you know, it, uh, it involves a lot of uh, negotiation and, 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 and then engagement with them. So what of the over 80 percent of them that are still there that cannot even raise as much as 100,000 Naira? Who, who, who will stand for them, for example? How can they get released? And that is why our government needs to come in as soon as possible. In a situation whereby, you know, you are at the receiving end, because this situation now, Nigerians, the federal government, we are at the receiving end. They are holding people hostage. And, and they are determined to use these people as human shield. Uh, these are people we must understand with distorted religious belief. They believe that the blood of everybody is even justified, as long as you didn't share their religious belief. So, so when, 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 when you have these misguided elements and, and with the tendency to, to, to even kill, so, so uh, do, we, do, we, do we allow them until they started killing these innocent people before we, we, we will act? There is nothing that cannot be done within this long period of, of over four months. Nothing as a government that, 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 that they cannot do. Okay. If, for example, in, in, in a country whereby we will tolerate a situation whereby one person Will, will, will steal or divert over 100 billion naira. Then, then what, what is the difference between such corrupt public officers and terrorists? Okay. Mr. What is the difference? Mr. I don't see any difference between them, honestly. Okay, Mr. Tukumo, but I just want to have a quick follow-up. You said in the case of the first 11 release, yeah. it was based on dialogue and give and take. I'd like to ask yeah. you, what was given and what was taken? Yeah. I'm sure that the release of the 11 people no, were given Mr. by Rufai, the bandits. Mr. Rufai, you know, you, you, you should understand that uh, this initial process involves uh, the federal government 100 percent with, with the security agencies. Okay. So I think uh, the, 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 the right people to answer this question, I think, should be the, the federal government or the, or the military. They okay. know exactly what happens and they, they know how we succeeded in securing the release of, 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 of the first 11. Okay. Well, because thank you. already, already, you know, uh, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm under serious pressure from virtually uh, most you, of them. Thank you. you. Know, they, they think that uh, the little we are doing uh, is a show of uh, like incapacity of the military, which is not so. We are not criticizing the military. We are not criticizing the federal government. We are only advising them that this is the right step to take, especially in this very difficult and unpredictable situation. Okay. <clears throat> you were quoted uh, in some of the papers. Uh, that you have decided to withdraw as a negotiator because you accuse the federal government of delaying the process of getting the uh, you know, victims uh, released. Uh, is that correct? And then secondly, uh, many people would like to know what exactly do the terrorists want? Because the videos that we have seen, we find the victims saying Hello, government should, uh, should uh, you know, respond to the terrorists and try to uh, you know, respond to their demands. What exactly are they asking it's, for? It's very true, Doctor. Uh, it's very true that uh, for, the, for, for almost two weeks now, I have uh, announced 
my withdrawal from, from engaging with, with, with this group uh, because I have my reasons. First, uh, when, when, when you are doing something as an army of one, uh, even if you will succeed, uh, the success will be very little. And it's in a situation whereby there is no, there is virtually no support from the government, you know, uh, no any form of appreciation from the government. In a situation whereby you are also even being threatened uh, in in one way or the other, uh, I think the the best way in the corrupt system we have. Uh, I'm not accusing anybody. I'm not accusing the, the security agencies, but but honestly, uh, what I have seen and the pressure I have uh, went through especially in the absence of government support, it will be very, very dangerous for me to continue this because I, 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 one will even risk the, the tendency of even losing his life, uh, not from the terrorists, of course, but from the corrupt society and, and, and then the, the tendency to even blackmail. So no matter how you want to assist, uh, when there is no cooperation from, from, from the government, especially in a difficult situation like this, uh, I think the best way is, is for you to, 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 to disengage maybe until such a time when government uh, understand and appreciate uh, the magnitude of the crisis. Uh, but uh, the, the most important thing is that uh, if, for example, one single individual can negotiate the release of all these remaining victims that were uh, released uh, after the, the, the 11, uh, you can imagine if, for example, government would put the same commitment. Uh, this is something, I repeat, that can be done within two, three days, and it will be over for these uh, victims. And, 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 and in a situation like this, uh, where uh, you, you know uh, uh, the, the support is, is virtually not, 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 not there, and, 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 and where uh, the, the commitment, I can say, is not encouraging, and, and it, it it's, uh, gives you with a, leaves you with a lot of frustrations, a lot of frustrations, because uh, I, I, I don't think maybe some of them in government you know, are understanding, you know, the, the crisis these families are into. It is, it, is not, uh, it is not something very easy for them. You know, uh, it is a very trying period for, for, for them. And it is something, uh, as a nation, uh, you know, uh, all stakeholders need to come out and contribute uh, to, to see an end to this crisis. And what, what I'm afraid is, for example, if people can give in their lives, if people can, can make the kind of uh, effort we are doing behind the scene, uh, and then without any encouragement, why, what do you expect, you know, uh, in, in future? Definitely you will be discouraging people to even share information, to even share intelligence that will assist the, the government, the military in, 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 in bringing this thing to an end. I think those of us that are truly identified, you know, as, as, as people or as, as citizens that, that are willing to, to, to contribute, especially from what we have demonstrated to the world almost a year ago with uh, Sheikh Ahmed Gumi, uh, visiting places that no government appointee can, can, can dare go to that place, you know, meeting with these uh, top bandits commanders, understanding the magnitude of the crisis, and then trying to find solution. I, I, I think if people can do like that, uh, you know, in a situation whereby you risk even your life, uh, the tendency to be killed, I think this, uh, this, this set of people should be priceless assets that, that government need to hold and then, and then work together with. But if you can remember, even that time, even the chance for Sheikh Ahmad Gumi to see the president, you know, to, 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 to brief him on, 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 on this crisis and then the, the, the way forward, uh, it has been prostrated largely by those maybe that have benefited from this insecurity crisis. We must appreciate the fact, or we must understand the fact that, that there is a lot of uh, uh, intricacies in this issue of insecurity in Nigeria. Uh, this is, this is multi-billion uh, uh, budgets, and, 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 and certainly, you know, uh, what, what is happening, if government will look into it seriously, uh, it, it, it was subject the process of, 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 of the budgetary allocation spending into uh, scrutiny so that so that at least we will have commensurate result uh, in, 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 in what we are doing. Uh, we understand and that during the last seven years, you know, a huge amount as much as uh, 16 billion dollars was, was, was spent on security. The question we should ask ourselves is, is there any commensurate result out of this huge spending? And if there is no commensurate result, who are those people benefiting from these insecurity budgets? 
who are those people that, that, that are making money out of this thing? If you, we must commend the president. The reason why I, I always commend him is that, you know, he is doing everything he could, you know, to approve almost every budget, you know, the, the security agencies presented. But, but, but the missing link is that if you appoint somebody and you cannot hold him accountable in case of especially failure or inability to deliver, this is where the crisis is. It's really sad to hear all of this, considering the fact that government spokespersons talk of a whole of society, whole of government, whole of the nation approach. And they say we all have a collective responsibility. But, you know, there was uh, the second leg of the question that you missed. What exactly do these terrorists want? Because we hear the victims saying government should uh, do whatever they're asking for. What are they really asking for? You know, uh, I, for me, for me, uh, most of the issues they are bringing, uh, it, it is all realistic. Most of the issues they are bringing, you know, cannot be justified. Uh, especially in a country where, uh, you know, uh, uh, we, we virtually have uh, the same problems. Because if you talk of, for example, uh, people stealing in government, uh, it does not only affect them, it affects the whole of Nigerians. If you talk of, for example, uh, uh, a situation whereby uh, there is no presence of government in, in many places, this is something that affects all of us. So, but but I think I think what what government need to uh, uh, understand uh, in this crisis is is to is to go to the genesis of the crisis and see the way to 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 to, to address this crisis. You know, from their initial complaints, is that uh, uh, government uh, have apprehended, uh, arrested, and killed most of their people, and and that they said what they are saying is that they are different. From, from, from Boko Haram elements that go out and kill just like that. They said they are only spreading their religious belief. And in the process of doing that, most of them are, are either arrested or, or, or being killed. And, 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 and I think uh, it, is, it is part of the reason they gave, uh, which even includes uh, the, the, uh, the, the arrest, I can say, of, of, of their teenage children. Uh, uh, so uh, basically, uh, when you engage people, uh, you, you, will, you will get to know maybe the kind of grievances they have. Then that grievances through diplomacy, through dialogue, you know, it, 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 you, you, you can justify the ones that are justifiable and then the, the ones that are not. Uh, I, I believe uh, when you engage them sincerely, uh, this, these are people that can make concessions and these are people that can, that can reason. But, but uh, what I want us to understand is that, you know, one cannot compare his, his psyche and sense of reasoning with, with, with somebody, uh, so, for example, with, with so much ignorance or even distorted religious belief. The best way to, 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 uh, to, to deal with a, a difficult situation like that is, is to penetrate them by, 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 by way of, you know, engaging them. You know, because if you in, engage somebody, especially with, with superior argument, you know, making him to understand the reality of, of, of the situation, I can tell you it is, it is something that can be achieved. And I have, I, I, I have seen that during, during my engagements with them. Sometimes they, they will say, this is that, this is this, this is that. I will tell them that, ah, if you do this, this thing will not be in the interest of you or, or, or even your, 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 your people. Out of this advice, I can tell you they have taken so much, and I want to give you just a few of them. For example, during the period of my engagement, they have issued two or three serious threats to start executing these innocent victims. But, but I, 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 I gave them reasons. I, I, I talk sense into them, and I, 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 I have the audios. At the end of the day, you know, without giving them a single cobble, you know, they, they, have, they have dropped that idea. Because I told them, if you people are, are, are talking of Islam, okay, which aspect of uh, Islam, you know, permits you to, to go and kill people that are innocent, to go and kill people, you know, that didn't do anything? And then why can't you people, at least, even if you will not discuss with government, why can't you people allow individual family members to, to, to discuss with you? So that whatever grievances you have with government, you know, this is something 
especially when we have a government that can sit down, listen, and then analyze these issues. Uh, this thing is something that can be discussed. But, 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 but what government needs to do in a situation like that, I think they need to really uh, engage them. Engaging them will make them to understand so many things. Especially, especially as I keep repeating, when you have a situation that, that, that have little military option, uh, you know the level of our intelligence gathering, you know, anytime these people want to attack, you know, uh, it, it, it is, uh, they, 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 all, they always uh, succeed. We have invested so much in this rail business. It has been grounded now for over, over four months and, and the threat is very clear that as, as, as soon as this thing resumes, without proper understanding with, with, with these people, anybody that uses this train will, will be in danger. So, so when you have this difficult situation, and then with inability, for example, to, 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 to determine and, and, and prevent attack on the side of the government, then what, 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 what option do you have? What option do we have? The mistake, you know, we, we, we made as a nation is that, you know, uh, we have allowed this uh, Boko Haram from ISWAP element, you know, uh, part of them to, you know, to, to relocate from the northeast now to the northwest. They are now in the strategic forest of, of Niger State. Niger State is, uh, forest is so vast, I think it is even twice the size of Lagos. So now they are assimilating very well with the Polani bandits. And you know the population of the Polani bandits. They are, they, are even, they are even more harmful, I can say, than even the normal Boko Haram stroke, 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 Iswa fighters, because the Polani bandits are largely illiterate without any uh, understanding of even the religion of Islam. So, so when you have this difficult situation, and in, in, a, in a country whereby the, the borders are so porous that, you know, uh, that drugs can come in at, at will, arms are, are coming in, in fact, the kind of ammunition that even the military hardly use. So when you allow people to have this access to, to, to serious, you know, uh, 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 arms, and, and then for, for, for them to even have the power to go to the nation's capital and attack, then, then what, 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 what option do you have? The, the best option is even if, for example, you will succeed in killing them, you will hardly succeed in killing all of them. And, and you will understand, uh, you will, you, I, I know you will believe with me that, that the, the level of poverty in the North is so endemic. So the, 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 the recruitment into terrorism, into banditry is on the high side. Okay, With Mr. as Mr. little Mahomes. as 20, 30,000 naira, you can okay. recruit okay. somebody into, into terrorism and, and banditry okay. in the okay, Northwest now. Okay, Mr. Mamo. So, so, I've okay. been trying to, I've been trying to get a word in, so many issues. Mr. Mamo. You've painted a really vivid picture for you know, our viewers this morning. So it leads me to ask you your thoughts on the BBC Africa Eye documentary that painted an equally scary picture to the Nigerian public. And the fact that the federal government's approach has been to sanction multi-choice, sanction Trust TV for airing that documentary. What is your take on informing the public, as you have done? They did theirs in their own way. But what is your take generally on the public being informed on the sheer scale of the horror that we are facing, rather than having these issues swept under the carpet, and also the approach that the federal government has taken? And also the fact that even in your efforts as a negotiator, you've been accompanied into the forest by the federal government. The issue is not that the government does not know where these people are. They know exactly where to be found, but they have not been apprehended. So many questions in the minds of Nigerians on this issue. Do you care to give us your perspective? Uh, okay, Tundu, I think, I think this is really very sad and frustrating, honestly. It is really very sad and frustrating. And I can tell you uh, we, we need to do uh, so much uh, to, to, to manage this uh, crisis. And what uh, I, I think I, I missed the first part of your question. Uh, if you can just remind me, please. Talked about how you are painting a picture as it is of exactly what we are facing, whereas other people who are also painting a picture, albeit differently, are being penalized for doing that. What is your take on informing the public on the sheer scale okay, of the I, I, horror? Honestly, honestly, I'm, 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 honestly, it, it is, it, 
in, in the system we have, it is not unexpected, and I'm, and I'm very disappointed uh, with, with, with the development, especially regarding the BBC documentary and, and, and then the Trust TV documentary. And, and then that, that, that shows, uh, you know, the, the level of understanding, or, or I can say myopic understanding of the, of the magnitude of, of the crisis. Uh, this in-depth investigation, this in-depth analysis of the issue, you know, should have been used, you know, to, 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 to see how we can get uh, to the root of this matter. And, uh, for example, when you catch the media and, and when you, you, you threaten the media in the manner we have seen, you know, in recent time, definitely, definitely uh, something is really wrong. And, and it portends a lot of danger to, 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 to democracy and to, 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 to especially the vulnerable citizens that are being attacked on, almost on a daily basis. And that honestly informs, is part of the reasons that I decided to honestly voluntarily withdraw from this engagement. Because uh, in this country now, you, 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 you stand the risk of even being blackmailed in, in situations like that, especially when your effort for example, is, is exposing uh, failure of some people in government, especially when your airport, you know, uh, is, 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 is showing incapacity of some people, you know, to, to, to discharge their duties according to how they're supposed to do it. So uh, I, I think uh, sanctioning the media in, in, in situations like that, uh, I think government will really need to look at it and then and, and, and address this issue uh, responsibly. As, 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 as a journalist, as a publisher, honestly, I have analyzed the contents of these videos uh, very well, about, about three times. I, I, I did not notice, you know, you know, the line of thinking for, for, for government to even say they want to take this kind of measures against these reputable uh, media organizations. Okay. And, and, and what, what are you encouraging? Definitely when you silence the media in, in a situation of war, in a situation of uncertainty, in, in a crisis where you are dealing with, with, with terrorist group, in a country whereby people are being killed almost on a daily basis due to failure to protect their lives and properties, then what do you want the society to, to, for us to be in complete chaos, okay. which is where we are heading to? So, so government need to look at it uh, honestly because when, I think if there is any uh, organization or if there is any body uh, government supposed to, or, or the security agencies supposed to work closely together with, especially in this war against insecurity, I think uh, media. Uh, media organizations. Okay. And Thank you so much for your patience to watch from the beginning to the end. I hope you have learned something from the video you have just watched. The video you have just watched is to bring information to your doorstep and for educational purpose. It is not to demonize anybody. Let us watch continuously and see who can be able to make a sense out of every nonsense we are seeing. We must continue. We move. It doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter what they say. They will kill us. We will kill them. At the end of the day, Biafra is here. Thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed to the channel, Please kindly subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so that you're notified each time I upload a video. You will be among the first to receive it. Thank you and remember us. Bye bye. See you again.